excellence, accountability, Oh, we in trouble now. We in trouble. We recording. We here. Oh, I, I felt like I couldn't say nothing because I felt like everything I said was mad blocky. I'm like, yo, I don't yeah. think I'm, y'all hear me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could not understand anyone. Yeah, Insta shot, bro. Insta, yeah, Insta shot. shot. We gonna, like we gonna, gonna we gonna yeah. have to, we gonna have to reconvene and figure this one out. <laughs> Yo. Yes, we are here live on the block, aka the digital Townsend. I am Bronx running the sensei. We got two F's in the building. We got. Ken in the building. We got Jalissa. We got Barb. So we have ourselves a nice little audience tonight. We are coming here on the heels of an episode on Instagram entitled Express Yourself, Your Life, and Movie Titles, man. Let me tell you, that audio was terrible. It was. <laughs> it was. That man. shit was beyond terrible. Absolutely. I was Absolutely. We're going to take that back. We're going to take that back to the lab and, and, and figure out the best way to go forward with this, because this this was an important topic <laughs> to talk about. I mean, we, it was it was good between, you know, the couple of us that were in there. But if the audience can't hear it, then it's like. What good is it? <laughs> yeah, true. But yeah, to run that back next week, bro. What's up? Yeah, we might. We just might have to. We might have to pop in here, man, and just be like, yo, let's talk about our stories real quick. Or we'll just hash it out right now. We on the block. Right. We on the block, man. We on the block. Yo, uh, which I got to say this, dude, and I didn't realize it, but I do appreciate this grown talk walk. Grown talk walk. Today, I can't even talk today. Because uh, we talking basically about our life forever. This shit, right? And at some point, my daughter gonna ask questions, and she and God forbid something happens to me, she gonna always go back to YouTube and hear these stories. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. right. I uh, appreciate the feedback. I mean, that's one of that's one of the reasons why you know me, Felt, Kev, and Mike. I don't know where Mike is at. Mike is probably wrestling with some stuff because he's been he's been quiet all week. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hit him up and check on him, make sure he's straight. But um, that's one of the reasons why. We we do this because everybody has a voice and there's so much to be said that can actually get people to look inward and be like, you know what? Why is it that I think this way? Why is it that I'm reacting this way to you know certain people or certain situations? You know what I mean? And, you know, we we all have commonality. We've all grown up in the hood. You know what I mean? We've all been raised by, you know, one parent or another. You know what I mean? So it's like we have that commonality. So why not tell our side of the story? You know, it's kind of like we're one big fucked up version of the Brady Bunch. (laughs) The NSA NSA bastard children. Oh shit, man! But um, story time, story time. What did y'all think about the topic overall? What did y'all think about the topic itself? I think the topic is actually pretty dope. Uh, it's like part of me want to get into details, but other part of me don't want to get into details about my story. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's definitely not easy to really open up and talk about the stories because you know a lot of us is just like yo. If I get out here and I tell my story, who's going to go ahead and try and expose it? Like, who's going to be ratchet? Who's going to use it against me? You know what I mean? Who's going to try to set me up? You I know? See, my story, dude, it, I, I got receipts for days. Like, I'm not worried about that. You can try to expose me, but I, I got witnesses. I, you know, I got all this shit. You know what I mean? I, I ain't do nothing by myself. I always had a crew with me. So yeah. all that crazy shit I was doing, it was there. So. I'm not worried about somebody exposing me. It's more like, what do I, if my daughter does decide to get on YouTube, I don't mind her hearing 
I'm going to do I want her to hear. Mm. Now that makes sense. That 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 uh that consciousness Cause, of cause what she, she's gonna what's find put out. out there. <laughs> nah, I totally get it. Shit, daddy was a hoe. But you can't say, well, daddy was also a devil because this motherfucker was crazy. So <laughs> it's just some shit you can do and some shit you can't. Right. Right. Yeah, you just gotta be just gotta be mindful of you know what's talked about, what's said, and all of that stuff. And you know, that's that's one of the reasons why, you know, we do the disclaimer to let everybody know, like, oh, wait a minute. All right, I know exactly what I'm gonna say, or I have I have an idea of what I do want to say. So I'm gonna make sure that it's said in a way that's constructive and not just like super over the top. You know what I mean? Because you're right. You know, we the the lot of us have children, younger children at that. And, you know, we don't we don't want something that's said to be interpreted. And then they run around and go to school and start saying it too. It's like, allegedly. I don't mind allegedly, but the other stuff, like, you know, that's yeah. it's like, eh, I don't want that. But also in certain parts of the story that I can say, yo, when I was in school, I did this. And I want my daughter to turn around later and be like, well, you did it. Why well, can't? Mm-hmm. Because there'll be <laughs> there'll be times where, you know, like I'm having a conversation with with Trish, my ex, and uh my son will be sitting there and in a worst case scenario, a curse word will slip out. You can't say that. You know what I mean? So it's, it's little things like that that make it uh that make it challenging because you'll be so deep in a connection in a conversation, and then you just be like, Oh shit, you know, there's a kid there, like I can't say that. You know, Nayleen was good. What's happening? I saw you pop in. I popped in, but there was like I couldn't hear anything, or I couldn't like I was trying to view the the live, but it just wasn't working on my end. Yeah, it was. I don't know if it's Instagram being dumb or if it's the the bandwidth connection on my end, but we'll 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 figure it out. You know, what I mean, we got we got the format, we got the formula. So regardless of what platform this bad boy is going to be on it's going to be a pop so you know y'all so what know. was the topic because i i'm so lost i was just texting Dylan, so i'm like what i'm i'm so lost that's what's going on right now all right so i got you i got you and this is this is this actually is going to work out because this is going to get hung on youtube um okay. so tonight's topic was expressing yourself so really it's basically the definition of your story you know talking about your personal individual authentic story you know um we subtitled it your life in movie titles you know so this episode was designed to be an opportunity to share a big time experience in your life that helped pave the way to make you who you are right now as a person, you know, and that's deep. Yeah. 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 And, and, and and the questions that were asked is it, it, it was designed that way because I, we wanted this to be an episode where people actually sat down and was like, Oh shit. Like they sat down and they yeah, really you actually thought have to about, think it. about it. Yeah, because I mean, some of us can come up with answers on the fly, but some of us we might actually have to take like a, a legit day or two just to be like, all right, let me turn my phone off, let me stare in the mirror, and come up with an answer, and I'll get back to you in forty eight hours. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but with that defining moment. And and our lives Nobody have a lot of them, you. you know. Um, is there anything in your life that you would go back in time to change? Uh, but as a result, you know, if you were willing to go back in time to change something you would have to sacrifice something in the present that was meaningful to you in order to do it. Yeah. That's you hard. know, you see what you yeah. see what I mean? Like that's, yeah, that but is that's, like that's, that's, that's a real no. Like yeah. I think in anybody's book, that's I feel a, like that's a I feel no. like we go through things and that it 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 shapes who we are. And I feel like 
thinking about going back and changing something, it just wouldn't make you who you are. Right. Like I mm. feel like we we have to use all those things as stepping stones to they create us. They they make us tougher. They make us um you know, going back and changing those things, we wouldn't have the same experiences. That's true. We That's wouldn't have the true. same mindset. So I really wouldn't change anything. I mean, there's things I should change now. <laughs> but, Facts. But to go back, no, I wouldn't go back because I feel like every day and every thing that I've gone through has made me who I am. And yeah. I feel like every I feel like with every hour, every day that we go through, like we learn so much and it just it builds it, it helps us build. And mm. that's what makes us make the the decisions that we make for tomorrow. And it just pushes us because I feel like if we were to change something, it just wouldn't be the same. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'm kind of along the same lines of that because, you know, with with everything that transpired between myself as an individual, you know, my kids lives, you know, the family and and everything. It's like you look back at it when you hit that certain threshold and you're just like, yo, everything came together in the way that it was supposed to come together. Like I was supposed to be in the situation where I went through what I went through. Yeah. You know, because when you get scuffed up and your ego gets injured the way that it does, it makes you appreciate the small victories even more, you know? And when you're going through that, that phase in your life where things aren't lining up for you or you feel like they're not lining up for you, it's not always easy to be in that uppity mindset like, oh, everything's going to work out great. Of course, you're going to have your emotions. Of course, you're going to be, you know, sad or pissed off about something you know, not falling through when it's supposed to. But when you get a chance to reflect and look back at it, then you can be like, all right, I get it now. I mean, the, I I I get it. Like, yeah, there's been so many instances that I've just like, in the moment, you're just like, you feel like you're drowning or you feel like thing. And then once you get past it, you're like, I had to go through that because I had to, I had to go through it. It's like, it, it just builds you. Mm -hmm. So changing, changing, it just, it, I'm telling you, it, you wouldn't be the same person you are today. You just wouldn't. No, I agree with that. I agree with that one. Now coming up with stories though, to that, that, to say that molded me or something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's how we got started off with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Lord Savior. Okay. Your top five Lord Savior moments. Lord Savior. Lord <laughs> Jesus. Lord, everybody had at least top five Lord Jesus moments. Like Lord Jesus, I swear today I'm not gonna drink no more. I this is this is the last one. I swear. Lord oh. Jesus moment number one. Lord graduating Jesus. from jail for kids. <laughs> oh my god but yeah we we we're like an encyclopedia of experiences like to to limit it to just one defining moment is hard it's really hard it it's really, really is hard to do. it's a it's a couple of them though that's why it's it's a, it's a lot of moments you'd be like all right that one was pretty good it's usually i don't know i if we i guess we had to rate them if I had to make movie titles on my shit, man, I think it's a mixture between fucking Forrest Gump and what's his other movie? Um, what was it, Castaway? With the with Castaway. Wilson? Damn, two Tom Yo, Hanks. Seriously, movies. seriously, Castaway. That would definitely be an <laughs> awesome movie title for like life. Yeah, yeah. Bro, because there are moments. I'm sorry, where I've never seen it. Is, you never yeah. seen Castaway? It's been on like what? regular Wilson! TV shows. Wilson, yes, exactly. Child, you know how many times motherfuckers cry for Wilson out there. Like, God damn it, that's the only thing I had. That's the only thing I had, and it's oh, gone. Shit. I had my Wilson moments with some hoopties I had, man. I'd be like, Wilson, no. <laughs> <laughs>
And there's just some Forrest Gump moments where it's just like, do you just you go with running. the flow? You just, you just start running. running. And you just start running, Jenny. And you just start <laughs> running. <laughs> and then that's really yeah. that's really where it's at. I got those two movie titles in my name. It's training day. Training I can't day. Without, I can't not the story of it, just the name of it. Just the name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the name. Because that's <laughs> how I felt like like every day was training day. Nah, my shit. I don't even know any like I don't I wouldn't even know. Felton, give me a movie title for my life. You know, you know enough. Oh shit. <laughs> You you inviting a projector right now, so you about to get anything. <laughs> Chub, you, need like, you, need, you need like a series, Chub. Chub is, we, Yo, sub, we cannot sub Chub up in like an hour and twenty. We gotta you gotta stretch this shit out. It's it's just a lengthy story. Yeah. You know, you gotta give a you gotta give at least twelve episodes. Cause three of them is just the background story by itself. And this is going to start getting hot by the sixth episode. By the twelfth episode, you're gonna be screaming. I was like, you have to just write a book. Like it's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's funny you mentioned that because sometimes sometimes the the, the 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 four corners of the screen is just not enough to hold all of that detail. Oh, I got it. Orange is the new black. That's Chubb's. Oh, that's Chubb's life. And in in, in, I'm not in a nutshell, but just nah. In events, you know what? Call it Chubb life. Chubb life. Word. No, 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 no. Don't take that. Don't say. Don't say that too loud. They might copyright that. <laughs> in my time, you might see that shit on A and E. My shit, I got two. T- I got two titles. The first one is a funny one, but the second one is a more serious one. The first one is hairline gone because obviously my hairline is fucking shot. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, <laughs> my shit is like worse than Vegeta. My shit go all the way the said middle of my head, like Vegeta. Gone. I can't stand it. Vegeta got a better hairline than I do. That says something. That says something right there. <laughs> <laughs> but hairline not in, in all seriousness, though. My movie title would be The Four Seasons. My movie title would be The Four Seasons because I would I would start off with the fall. When the leaves of fall are dropping and you know there's a big transition getting ready to happen. The winter months, it's cold. You're dealing with the the you know the heavy times, the sadness, the you know the battling back from you know depression. I admit to that. You know you're you're trying to find your way, dig, make yourself an igloo, and you're still cold as fuck. Like you know, and in the springtime when you start to really discover yourself, you start to find some answers to your long awaited questions. You know what I mean? And you, you you start going, oh, okay. And you start warming up. You start warming up to who you are as a person. And in the summertime, you're just like, what's up, baby? I'm Jean Grey and X-Men, burning everything in my path because this is who I am, you know? So that's why I would call it, I would call it the four seasons. Jalissa be like the Terminator. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> damn. The Terminator? That would give her the Terminator. Yo, Juju the Terminator. I, it's like she's always been mad, rugged, mad, like, I don't know. Street Fighter? Street Fighter? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that just got worse. It just got worse. Street Yo, Fighter. That's a lie, bro. Was nobody trying to fight me? No, 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 no. She would actually have to have fights, like real. Yeah, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not even trying to fight her. Like, <laughs> Yo, nobody wanted to mess with Juju. It was just bad. <laughs> Jalissa will punch you in the face with her wordplay. That's it. Word play. Nobody's trying to fight you. Before, seriously, Jalissa talks more now than what she did before. She didn't have wordplay before. Mm. It wasn't no words. Would you that's say the would Terminator? You, she wasn't saying nothing. Would Bruh. you say that's would you say that's growth on her part though? No, she has grown a lot. A lot. And that's it's because up. of the things we've gone through, the things that, you know, like she's gone through so much that it's She's learned so much, and I'm so proud of who she's become. But before, I, I, um, well, I wasn't that bad, though. I was chilling. <laughs> I was chilling. Okay. okay. It's just nice she's to know sick. that I wasn't the only violent one in this group. Bro, so I, I, I was that. not violent, though. I, see you this and no, I was not violent. You wasn't had- what? I wasn't violent. I didn't have to be. Yo, dead ass. I didn't have to be violent at all. You didn't have to because everybody was already scared. 
You know what? Motherfuckers tested my gangster because now nah, ain't nobody trying uh, to test Juju's gangster. They already knew her hands. They already yeah. knew what it was. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's it's different for dudes though. I'm the biggest man on the yard, so who they gonna go after? She was the biggest girl like, in the block. She was like, and nobody was messing with her. What well, the dudes are different though. That's what I'm trying to say though. That's These that's dudes. crazy though. Like I, they, it should have. I don't know, man. I feel bad for you then. You should have had Juju next to you. Trust me, I ain't lose. I oh, was not losing. You good then? <laughs> I you would have had backup like Juju. Trust me, you would have been good. I Even better. All them fights. I should have <laughs> rolled with Juju. Nobody would have This man had the up. long arm of the law. He'll knock you out from a half block away. <laughs> Can't so, ain't play that shit. So Juju was like the Debo of the block. You know, they, they, they see her coming, they running. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. To be honest, like. I don't, know what it was. I don't know why. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I guess I just had that face all the time. Like, don't fuck with me, face. Like, don't even try. That's it. what it was. You, you was always just mad serious, and you had this face, like, <laughs> like I, I wish you would. Yeah, I wish you would, face. I That's that would have been my movie. All right, I wish you would. Yo, nah, fuck it. You remember when she used to walk around in sweats and have one leg up, rolled up, like Yo, she was about to go. Like she looked like LL Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> I was like uh, I mean, Queen what? Latifah. I'm like, what are you? Yeah, doing? With the two braids. You feel me? Uh, Set it off. The That's dead. The, the yeah. The dead. Nah, the dead fact, presidents. We gonna call it. Set it off. Set it off. Set it off. That's it. Cause she got all three of those personalities. All three of those characters play all, all three personalities. That that's Julie, when in a nutshell. Oh. There's the nice, caring one. Then there's the it's the the one that's the street smart one. And then it's the one who just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. It's just gonna shoot it out with the cops until the end. Yeah. That's it. You don't know which one. You don't know which character you're gonna get. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say Julie, aka set it off. Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh my god that's, that's her story set it off set it that's off what, that's yeah. what it, that's, that's what it is that, that's so that's if you, watch, you know what that movie you watched that movie before hell yeah you seen it you seen what happened at the end you knew when mm -hmm. I was done to blaze it yo <laughs> come on man that's the movie right there set it off listen I think set my issue off. was cause I wasn't when I like stopped hanging out in the Bronx started hanging out in Brooklyn well, I'm mm. this no-name nigga on somebody else's block. I guess that's why oh, yeah, niggas that, tested That'll get you. That'll get you in some shit. That'll uh, get you in some I was shit. like, like okay. I was over there. And, you the new nigga on the block? That definitely. one nigga. Yeah, <laughs> one nigga. Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? I'm like, yo, what you want to do? Like, I ain't back down for nobody. I just always had everybody like, now, nah, like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Joe. <laughs> And, chill, and, chill, 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 and thinking chill. and thinking about it, I put myself in situations with real shit. I should have been dead, dude. All those projects I was running around with because I knew niggas. I thought I was good, but it was like I said, it was always one nigga that I wanted to test. So motherfuckers was just running up on me. I'm fighting. Nigga gun one fight, a nigga gun drop, and I picked his shit up and kept that shit. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, hey, and, yo, yeah. allegedly. <laughs> No, you still yeah, you got it I, I literally, I literally threw it away yeah. afterwards. And, and oh was, like, man, you do it, you do it in the river like Quincy and and, and yeah. Juice. It, it had yeah, to did go. You, it had did to you go, catch bro. a body on it? No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yo, we ain't trying to we ain't trying to get Ken yo, knocked yo, on here, yo. No, no, no. I said that for a reason. I said that for that's my Vlad question. That's my Vlad question. This will get snipped. This will get snipped. That's my Vlad question. That's my Vlad question. No, but but he did this shit though, right? So in the hood. Round oh, niggas, yeah. round gang members, oh, round drug dealers. Allegedly, I was around all that shit, right? Gang members never caught a body, never picked, pointed a gun at a nigga, none of that crazy shit. I do armor truck. Two years in, I had to use the gun. Two years in, I had to body the body hit nigga. Damn. Feds was on me, questioning me. They saw the videotape. Nigga literally ran around the corner shooting at us. Just wow. Shooting. Out. This is outside of DC. Just came running, shooting at us. I don't know what it was. God was talking. Somebody was talking to me that made me look in that direction. Pulled mm. my nigga back and like and like I pulled him back in the back of the truck. Mm. We turned around. We both start bucking. I caught no. him two times in the chest. Oh, out, yeah, son. 
I don't know how niggas can brag about bodies, because even though it was shoot to kill, because if, if I ain't catch that nigga, he was catching me. Yeah. And it still hunts my dreams. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Gucci man? That's you? <laughs> that's an asshole. <laughs> that's Gucci man? Uh, re- re- I ain't yeah. Gucci man. I ain't <laughs> Gucci man, though. Gucci man called a body. I ain't Gucci man. <laughs> Like, Call the body my, on self defense. <laughs> my my nigga that I that I was with, he named his first child after me. Oh man, said, nigga, nigga said I saved his life, and I'm telling nigga I ain't saved your fucking life, bro. I was scared as shit, and I ain't yeah. gonna die. <laughs> self defense. Like, yeah, yeah, just, you know, it's you or them. That's but, it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Fight, but, fight or flight. Fight or flight, bro. Mm-hmm. You can't get mad about and, that. And you sit there, and you sit there. And my therapist tell me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't on you. You did what you had to fucking do. But you take a nigga life, I can't see me doing that again. That's, that's why I left Armor Truck. I couldn't do that shit again. Mm-hmm. You, did that, you did that in the Armor Truck, Brody? Yeah, bro. What? On the Armor Truck? I, I was the lead crew member, too. So you, wow. you had, so you shit had to do you know yeah, You had to do that, though. There was no. Turn it back. That's what you. That's what you get paid to yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, but so. that's the job. That job. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's like that. Like, like, yeah. it's, it comes with it. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like you already yeah, know what, is what ju- they Everything is justified, right? Mm-hmm. Like they saw it on camera. They asked me a thousand one questions. The shit happened at two p.m. I ain't get. I ain't get the lead work till like midnight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Bad questions. Wow. They, they're looking at the video. They checking the gun. They. 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 Uh. I had to get a blood test to make sure I wasn't like yeah. high or drunk or anything like that. They did. I was just mad shit going on, and my mind was so fucking numb from what happened. I'm just like blink the fuck out. Like everything was like it. I'm not explaining. It was just all fucked up in my head that day. Mm. I ain't sleep, and then I didn't have to work for like a week. I couldn't sleep for days. Damn. Yeah, that's that's traumatizing. That's... Yeah, how long it took you oh, to go yeah. get some regular sleep? Um, they gave me some meds like the third day to help me sleep, and that knocked me out. Okay, but, but question by myself, you, like yeah, go you ahead. going through that that made you who you was. That put brought you to a different level of who you are. You it going through a, that? It answered a question for me that I always wanted to know: Am I a thug? And I found out I got thug ingredients. I ain't got the full meal. <laughs> I'm got, done with him, I got guys. Some of the <laughs> I am done. I am I done with him. Thug <laughs> in- Somebody please quote that man. Please he quote that. Thug <laughs> ingredients. He said, I have thug uh, ingredients, sir. This is not the full course. Sorry. Yeah, did not. Uh-uh. I got the two sides and shit, but we just, that's uh, what we got. Yeah. <laughs> I got that got. seasoning sauce. I got a, a couple of other seasonings over here. But <laughs> don't put me in the meal. Cause I'm Your like, man can't, can't have the two. <laughs> they, he had the two. He had the two chickens and a biscuit ready to go. Nah, seriously. With well, well, oh, all due yeah. respect, though, though, I, I really respect that comment, though, that you said that, man. Because not a lot of people can really say, like, I'm saying, I know I'm not a thug. Like, mm, that's nah. just. Yeah. And, yeah, and I'm saying that I commend you for that. Because for that, I mean, that's heavy. That's heavy. Yeah. But it's like it's your job, so it's like you know I got a lot of more follow up questions because it's like you know you playing God for a second, man. You had to do what yeah. you had to do, so you know it's, it's crazy. And I can live with it now, mm-hmm. but every now and then, especially around the time of the anniversary when it happens, it, mm-hmm. it's in my dreams. It pops up the whole scene. Mind yeah. you, all this took place probably a minute. That whole scene was a yo. Minute. That was my next question. Like, how long was this entire situation? Mm. The whole scene was a minute. And That's what they said. It was 60 fucking seconds. Wow. And it, and, and it and, fucked and, you and, up for life. And in my head, that was 30 minutes. That was a lot of fucking that's a lot of fucking bullets in 60 fucking seconds. Because I'm not only shooting, my partner's shooting, and that nigga shooting at us. Mm. Oh. The fact nobody else got hit. I don't know how I was able to focus some shots. I don't know what. They're tapping his wire right now. They're tapping his wire. They're tapping the wire. Yo, change the subject. Change the subject. They're calling. They're tapped in. They're tapped in. They're listening. They're listening. 
They tapped in already. Uh, I was trained a little bit by them, but I did stuff from the other guys that was like ex cops or ex correction officers. Yo, in the situation, you gotta be like this. Gotta, you gotta keep calm, whatever. And that, that hood shit kept me calm because real shit, we been in the block when niggas was shooting. Mm, so you know what when niggas was shooting, so I knew how to move. You know what I'm saying? My first instinct was, yo, get the fuck out the way. And I grabbed right. my partner, who was a white boy, who was not raised the way I was raised. I got that nigga the fuck up out of there. Yo, what the mm. fuck you doing? Let's go. I can't. Yo, do they put a limit on what kind of uh, weapon you guys can have as a service weapon? Yes. Um, In D.C., we, we only allowed to have revolvers. You're not allowed to have a semi-automatic anything. The Clint Eastwoods? Yep. We was in D.C. When you in D.C., and you got a semi-auto, you need to switch it in the truck before crossing that line. Yeah. And put in, I had a 357 uh, Smith uh, Smith & Wesson. Mm. And then once I get back over, back into the Maryland side, I can have a semi-automatic. You, you had to be trained to hold a shotgun. I was trained to hold a shotgun. Uh, I was supposed to be trained to have an assault rifle, but I never got the chance to do that. I don't think I've, I don't think I've had a moment like that that was like wild wild crazy like that like actually i mean and i was in the military like i never pulled a piece out on nobody you know what i mean like I, I like i was trained i was a trained shooter i knew how to pull the trigger if i had to but i was never in the position where you know i was on the front lines and i had to clap somebody you know what i mean i came close like i was in a convoy but I mean, we didn't get shot at or anything, but you know, we in full kit, full body armor and all of that. You know what I mean? 30 round clips and all, just in case. You know, but thankfully, we never got popped at. And we were going in one of the one of the craziest sectors to even go into. You know, so it was like for me, I was like, yo, this shit is crazy, bro. Like this shit heavy as hell, man. Like, yo, I hope nothing happens. Like <laughs> Yeah, bro. But I'm gl- thank you. Thankfully. I'm glad nothing happened to you when all that shit was going down, man. Because I yeah. I did think of you when the shit went left. I'm like, yeah, I hope this nigga ain't have to do nothing crazy. But Kev mm-hmm. was like, nah, that nigga is not he ain't in there like that. So I was like, all right. I think right. Kev was the one told me. Yeah, but nah, it was it was it was a safe trip though. I mean, that was really I've I've been on a military convoy like downrange in Iraq like twice you know what I mean so thankfully thankfully nothing happened both times now me being on the base I had more action on the damn base than I did you know in a convoy like we actually like obviously you know it's Iraq so it's a war zone so you know you're getting mortars dropped on you and stuff like that we had a people people couple people get clapped up lost their lives unfortunately you know what I mean but um yeah, man, it's, that's part of my story right there. Like, I was deployed twice. You know what I mean? How many people can say that, you know, they come from New York City, don a uniform, and go in combat in your 20s and come back twice alive? No injuries. Facts. You know? That's a blessing oh. in disguise right there. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like you really learn to count your blessings in those situations because it could have went a whole lot worse and it didn't. You know? Real sure. I'm glad it didn't, bro. Yeah. Real quick, since we're talking about stories, man, we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to talk about embarrassing moments. We're going to talk about funny moments. What was the one, of, one of the funniest moments? In your life, me funniest stuff on the J line. What? <laughs> Say it again. So I went to go drink. This is when me and Felsa first probably drank together, right? Oh before, my god, I remember that that's story. Before we was even, that was before <laughs> we was even talking, and we went to um Brother Jimmy's. This is I wasn't even able to drink at this yeah. time. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how you snuck in there. But then, anyways, I was in there, no ID, got my drinks, no problem, bro. I peed on myself two stops <laughs> before I got home. But let me tell you, I dead ass used the bathroom at least three times before I got in the train. Damn. So I'm not going to swipe just in case I need to use the bathroom. I waited. 
Used the bathroom three times before I got on the train. Made it to the J line. I was like, fuck, I gotta use the bathroom again. I Yo, how many it. times did you how many Yo, how much did you drink? I don't know, but I drank a lot. Nah, no, I but you had drank, I remember you said that you had drank the fish bowl, the big ass fish bowl. Oh, yeah. the fish bowl. And that's I why like, you was peeing like I that. Because like, I remember when when you came home, I was I think I, I was in your house or whatever waiting for you. Yeah. And you, Yo, I was so <laughs> twisted. I stripped in my whole way. <laughs> I ain't had no clothes when I walked in my crib. Wow. Damn. Two stops before I even... This is tea. You can have tea. We're not going to do juice. Mm. She's laying out the ultimatums right now. This is this is one of those set it off personalities. Uh. There it is. She got the she got the fourth one. She got mommy mode right now. She in mommy mode. She had the funniest moments, yo. I'm trying to think, man, because there's too I, many. I, I there's, there's, there's there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot, moments, man. Yo. I don't even have. I don't even. I mean, I could throw one. I could throw one out there. I mean, I wasn't exactly drunk. You should know my funniest moments. I don't even remember them. Yo, I mean, I don't know if they were funny. I think they were more scary. Yeah, yeah, I like, got a I blend, of, like I got a blend a of funny like, scary. I, I, I think we I, laughed I, after, but uh, in the moment, it was a little like, what the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, like, I was never in my right mind back then. Like, I, a hot mess. Like, I was just a mess. And, like, just right now, when they were talking party. about stories with, like, stuff, like, I thought about all the parties where we would get into problems and, like, have all type of weapons and all type of stuff, and I would walk away with mad stuff and Bruh, just like walk I'll right talk. past the cops and like it was like crazy as like I I did some retarded ass shit and <laughs> I'm glad oh, that dude. I have not been to jail. Me too. I ain't and, never been. Yeah, like <laughs> Jalissa, you used to like steal cars and all type of shit. Like, like we was steal out of cars. control. We was out of. I did not steal cars. I borrowed them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Illegally. With Illegally no without a back. license. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. All right. The reason why the insurance rates is high now. You know what I mean? Oh. Recklessness is like yeah. that. I have a funny story. I think my freshman year in college was probably my entire funniest story. Uh -oh. I did. I had. I did. Uh. I did my freshman year in college in a fucking hotel in downtown Buffalo. So they had overbooked the rooms on campus. You want to go back and our freshman class, we're allowed to, they, they didn't have nowhere else to put us. And SUNY was definitely trying to get that money. So they mm -hmm. said, instead of sending y'all to another school, we're just going to put y'all niggas. Too. Yo, we're going to put y'all motherfuckers in a hotel. I was 18 years old with two queen size beds and a hotel room. You know, everybody failed that entire fucking year. Like that was one of the highest failures it ever in Bub State history. Dude. I think people were walking out of that shit with like a zero point nine. Like motherfuckers, we had it was so we were so bougie. They gave us like um we we're downtown Buffalo. The school was like at least two, three miles up the road. When I say we downtown, like we're in downtown, downtown. This is like we were the arenas right there, downtown Buffalo's right there, and our hotel is right there. We were getting Ready, Bus, they hooked it up to a point where we were getting like hotel meals on our school meal cards. So motherfuckers was ordering like shrimp, the like the love yard, all kind of fuckery at all kinds of nights. The the yeah. kitchen didn't close until like three a.m. Funniest story was fucking. I think it was the first day we got in there, and motherfuckers set the the smoke alarm off. Oh no! So in the in, in the in the hotel we couldn't smoke. Do you know? I'm fucking 18, bro. This shit was like real world, like teenager status. Like it was just ridiculous. <laughs> so imagine niggas from the hood, and it's it's different niggas from different hoods. So all right, we got niggas from Philly, we got niggas from different parts of the country and different parts of the state. We all got shit in common. So we smoking in the bathroom. So we figured out that if you wet the towels and put it underneath the door, that you can smoke inside the bathrooms. It's a limit to how much smoke you can really put in that bag. Right. And then when you open that door, the smoke go out. So Yo, Chubb, it was to the point where you can probably smell us from like the first floor. And it it was <laughs> mind you, that was that that was like the first week. That's just the first week. 
first, I think the first week I got written up for having a keg in my room. I had a Heineken keg in my room. I don't care. Fuck we had a fucking home. at the after party at, at the hotel. We had a Heineken keg in my room. I got written up for that. See. <laughs> Use a hole. And then I was a, I was a complete. Use a hole. Let me tell y'all, man. If I had like a story, like a, I think my college was like American Pie. It was just oh. that between Super Bad and American Pie, it was just that. Oh record. shit! I, I would love to match if I had to mash up my college experience, y'all. I mean, I was in a fraternity for four fucking years. The whitest frat you can join. The so whitest this, frat. The whitest frat you can How fucking. How the hell you got into join. that? <laughs> we we're talking about Buffalo, man. This shit is it's nothing in Buffalo except the Bills and and Rick James. That's it. Yo, so the sandwiches the bills. in Buffalo. I I've been no, we all went to Buffalo. It's, it's a lot and the wild of wings. The wild there. wings. Damn it. And the wild yeah, and the Buffalo Wild. Shout out to Buffalo Wild Wings. All right. And Tim Hortons. Now what's the, what's the name of that sandwich place you took me to, Paulson? Oh, when we went up uh, to Buffalo. Jim's. Jim Steakhouse. Now, Jim Steakhouse Yo. is on point. Listen, let me, let me tell y'all niggas son. <laughs> you get rich one day, go was... go take a flight to Buffalo, get real fuck. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the best night in your lives. Go to Buffalo in a summer night, bro. I guarantee you, you will be fucking in tears. Okay? By, it's the, probably the best time of your life. And we got the best fucking food that you can buy when you're drunk. Brothers Jimmy's? Yo, what, son, what, they, you, yo. what was those quarter water drinks that we was, they was drinks, but they was like in them quarter water juices? Oh, that the we grenade. Was drinking in the bar? The, the fucking grenades. Oh, the buses? Yo. No, the no, buses? they were spike. Listen, they were spike grenades in the, in, in the club. And then afterwards, niggas was grilling outside, bro. You could have had a grilled sausage outside after the club at like three, four o'clock in the morning. Right. Niggas what outside the making. the hell? Shove almost left us and went to Canada. Yeah, Shove almost left us with the kids. Yes. We were him. They friends. They wanted to go. I was like, yo, we out. Like, what up? Yeah, Buffalo is it's like that. Because Canada's right there. It's motherfuckers. Yo, yeah, you right. You right. I don't right. know why they took me over there. They they yo. was like, yo, let's go to let's go to Buffalo. And I was like, all right, I pay the hotel. We out. Yo, we go over there. We stood over there what one night? One night. One night. One night. And we and killed almost, we killed one bunny on the way. <laughs> We killed one bunny on the way, bro. One bunny <laughs> got killed on the way, bro. See? I don't even know how we got that. Legit, that was the bunny's legit, fault. That was the bunny's fault. Legit, one of the hoopty stories, because we was definitely in a hoopty driving that shit. I had blue yeah. lights, my nigga. We couldn't see shit. I couldn't see shit. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what my dumb ass was thinking. Like, I'm some fucking car geek. Like, yo, let me get these fucking blue lights on my car. I couldn't see shit, bro. For he five thought he was a cop. He thought he was a cop. That's bro, what we was. ran, trying to we catch ran somebody over slipping. a bunny. We hit a bunny, bro, and I just walked past like nothing happened. <laughs> the girls are like, yo, we hit a bunny. I'm like, nah, that, that was nothing. Don't worry about that. That was a plastic bag. That was a bag. speed bump. That was a, speed that was a plastic <laughs> bag. I sure, cannot. Yo, bro, 100%, I definitely know I hit that. That was definitely a bunny. That was the first also, time. Fulton <laughs> also hit a Cinebrick. A Cinebrick? A Cinebrick? A Cinebrick? Is that a cinder? That's what it's called. A cinder block. A cinder block. There you go. No. Cinder break. What the fuck? No. Not that night, but you definitely almost, you definitely hit a cinder block at one. Oh time. yeah, I definitely hit a cinder block because like the gate of chaos, man, it should never stops, bro. It just never stops. Whole flat Yo, did you tire. hydroplane like, after you hit that damn thing? Like, I was like five, four months pregnant. Nigga tried to charge us a hundred and seventy-three dollars to take us off the ramp, bro. We was already on the ramp. No, I said you done lost your mind. I did. I told him that, right? <laughs> you done lost your fucking mind if you think I'm gonna give you 173 dollars to roll me down the ramp. Wow. He no. was like, "Well, uh, if you guys just roll, I can behind you." I was like, "Yeah, we gonna do that because you you done lost your mind." Nigga, I lost. Nigga, I lost. Like, you just can't. He stay would have. Char- he would have charged you half. Like, I can I get fifty dollars well, because I accompanied shit, you. Like, nah, he wanted all kinds of. But we was like, nah, we will just drive it off. Thank you. I learned my lesson mm-hmm. since the first hoopie, man. Don't don't listen to them tow truck niggas. Them niggas trying to get you out of there and hook your car hooked up as fast mm-hmm. as possible, bro. And they That's out of crazy. there. No, nah, that was man. crazy. Buffalo was nice though. Y'all need to go check that out. Buffalo's nice. Y'all like it. Summertime. It was it was weird. It it wasn't it was weird to me because I'm always like on the, the fence about a lot of shit when I'm around people that I don't really, really really like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm always watching. Yeah. So I be looking for the funny shit. 
Set it off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, set it set it off was over here playing bodyguard while I was playing, playing, playing Queen Latifah that with, night. With, with, one, with one sweat leg up and the other Yo, one let down. Let me tell you, right? So they having fun drinking, whatever. They having Don't fun drinking, whatever. And I'm like, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm watching everything. Because I'm not in my hood. So yeah. I don't know none of y'all. So I don't trust none of y'all. And we walking up the block to the next spot. And I'm like, yeah, I wallet. I'm definitely not going in there. That shit sound way too ratchet. We ain't got no hammer on us. You done <laughs> lost your mind. I'm not having it. Not having it. Oh, shit. Like yeah, said, man. Set it off over here. Always ready. Set it, set off. it off. And me, me and Chubb just getting drunk as shit. Running around. La, 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 la. Like, look at Buffalo. Look. <laughs> People are really, people are generally nice. Yo, I talked nice. to so many people that night, and I was just like, I was living my best life. Living her best life, and then can't remember. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> That's when you know you're living it right. Hey, but I got, I got a story to tell that doesn't really involve me. Felton gonna start dying. Felton's gonna start rolling. Me and Felton was walking down the, down Mount Eden one day. Yo, don't you goddamn start this? Don't you do it? He already he already know where I'm going with this. He already know. So we walking down Mount Eden. I think we was going to the grocery store or something like that. And <laughs> we see we see Pudgy. Shout out to Pudgy. I hope you good, bro. I hope you had insurance after what I'm about to tell you. But um, so he <laughs> Pudgy was riding his bike. With his sister on the back. And as he's bypassing us going down the hill, he's like, Yo, watch out. I ain't got no brakes. So, me, I'm over here like, What? Why would you go down the hill if you riding the. Why, why would you go down the hill with no brakes on your bike? Like, why would you do that? And so I blurted out, like, Yo, wouldn't that be some shit if. Soon as I said the word if, yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, Chubb, just imagine this. All right, just imagine the craziest bicycle sound you could ever imagine, and just add two more human beings to it, yo. Oh my god, because th that's exactly what it sounds like. And then the funniest part of this entire story. Is the aftermath like the way the bodies were positioned after the accident was completed? This was, this is honestly lived in my lived in my mind rent free for at least twenty <laughs> fucking years, man. And I and I and I go back to it when I need to be happy and laugh. It's awful, but it was a. It hell wasn't of a story. awful. It was hilarious. It was fucking <laughs> the the way that their bodies were stacked Yo, at the bottom of the oh, at the bottom of Mount Eden. Like, like the Miller Hill, Hill. like the Mill like the Miller Hill, Chubb. Like we got a hill like on Mount Eden, just like Miller Hill. Yeah. Same oh. shit. That triple down, like if you yeah. go down this shit with no brakes with a bike, you're definitely dead. Like you're dead. that kind of shit. Like it definitely RIP the mad niggas down that hill. <laughs> like for a fact. I know. Yo, I don't Miller even think that's funny right now because I'm dealing <laughs> with a concussion because I just Busted my ass in Puerto Rico on Sunday. So on like Shit. on a hill? Yes, I was going down the hill and I was see, on nah, fucking see. electrical scooters. And I decided no. that I was like trying to break, but then there was a little kid in the way. So I went no, to like break, but I accelerated oh, my mistake. Oh my and god. And the whole shit flew shit. off and I hit the concrete mad hard. My head is killing me. It's been killing me all week. I've been Chum. I've gotten cash scans and all type of shit off of my Nigga head. Said cash scans. <laughs> I can't. Damn. I'm going Chubb, through it, so I don't even think that's funny right now because my head You hurts. viral somewhere. You viral somewhere, Chubb. I, have, you definitely, I, don't know. You I was definitely. like, I know somebody recorded that. I know somebody Chubb, recorded If it was that wow. good, if it was, if you tell me it was really that epic, then you got to be on the internet somewhere. So you I, fell in between, I fell into traffic. A car had to, like, break my heart. Thank God the oh, car broke. Chubb, oh, Chubb. Because if not, we're talking about Chubb, no. Wow. Chubb, no. Chubb, you're on the internet, my nigga. We got to look at I'm video. waiting to see myself because I know I am. <laughs> yo, we about to get a million. Yo, we about to get a million hits on this YouTube video, real quick. Watch. 
Yo, niggas gonna be looking for that video. Like, nah, it's on the video. It's gotta be <laughs> easy, on. Easy Millie. Somebody got it's the done. short on there. Go on Sunday that passed just now. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the name of the video, right ladies and gentlemen. Of, Puerto Rico right on Sunday. Castillo de San Cristobal. Oh, that's on camera, baby girl. We gonna it's look for that. Definitely, I know somebody. If it's not, if it's not on camera, Google Maps got it. <laughs> Google Maps definitely got it. You shit. know, they had one of those go- the little fucking uh Nissan versus right thing in front of, like, is the driving National around. Park. So it's definitely. Mm. I know somebody recorded it. Chum, how you were? Rev- so you you said you accelerate instead of br- instead of braking. Yo, have you seen how fast them little fucking? Like first of all, nope. first of all, no. We see yeah. them in Miami all the time, and I think about how slow they are. No, but now, recorded me from the back, right? Yeah. And he see, he see I'm going too fast. He like slow down, and I'm like I from the jump. I told him, no, I don't want to get on these things because I get paranoid once the bike lane ends. Like it's gonna merge to the street. Yeah. Yo, right when the bike lane ended and it merged to the street, that's when I fell. Yo, oh that's God. when your that's when your soul left your body and was just like. What I do you was do? just like, "Yep, done. That's it, done." It's like, "What are you doing? I, I didn't, I didn't inhabit your body for you to do this, yo. You need to do better." <laughs> no, at one point he's screaming at me. He's like, "How fast you going?" And I'm like, 20 miles per hour." <laughs> oh shit! Yo, Twenty miles per hour. Twenty miles. But Rudy, on the scooter, Rudy, on the scooter, like a regular, like. Budgie and his sister were going faster than that, though. They were doing like twenty five to thirty. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know when how they met. When going, they met their demise downhill. at the bottom of Mount Eden, Mount Eden, <laughs> on the corner nah, of, the, of Jerome nah, Avenue, job, job, for real. with the with the bike upside down and the wheel spinning, I was dying. Yo, I was his, dying. Yo, his sister was planked on the floor, Chubb. Like, like face down. Like when we came, like his sister was like this. Look, like this. <laughs> That look, this is how we came on the scene. <laughs> she was playing and to games. make it even worse. Yo, Bridget to make it even down. worse, here's the best part <laughs> me and Felter were at the middle of the hill crying, laughing. Crying. Yo, we could not stop crying. No, listen, <laughs> we I, let me yo, let me tell y'all something. You know, those laughs that you'd be like, yo, my fucking stomach. Hurt like I like I like I seriously almost died that night of laughter because <laughs> we were trying to hold the composure, Chub. But the sound of the, the, yo, the sound of the bike, him trying to break with his feet and just the mangled metal and the bodies hitting the concrete and a and a baby saying, oh, yo. And yo, and then Rudy saying, yo, I ain't got no brakes. I ain't got no brakes. That's all, yo, Chub. <laughs> all we heard, yo. <laughs> Yo, chill. I got no. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm going to hell for this. I'm going to hell for that. Yo, but what made real it, talk. But what I made see it Bridget worse. 10 years later, she still got the scar on her face. Like, Yo, but what know. made it worse, what made it worse, what made it even more funny is Pudgy got up and picked his sister. And carried his sister. She was crying. Like a fucking he w- cradled w- his w- sister and walked up the hill <laughs> and saw me and Felton rolling, and then he started laughing. <laughs> That's, That's what he did. Yo, nah, nah, nah. Listen, the nigga picked up his sister like the Bone Dogs of Harmony video. Like, nigga, <laughs> 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 that guy had. Yo. <laughs> that's what that's what yo, me and Max was in fucking tears. Yo, I'm telling you, y'all, we could not stop laughing. <laughs> I think we laughed at least a fucking hour straight just trying to get sense together, yo. Like we were he, trying to piece everything to, because it happened so fast. We bro. were just walking down the hills like, yo, I ain't got no break. It was like, yo, he ain't got no breaks. Wouldn't it be fucked up if he that's it? Oh, the tour de Bronx. When oh, niggas almost God. talk. Oh yo. my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yo. So they do this bike tour in the Bronx, right? Me and Max are doing this shit for like four or five years straight. It's a 25 mile bike ride. You get escorted by police, and there's two different um, it's two it's two packs. It's the 40 mile pack. Those guys do no police escort. It's just a bunch of fucking hardcore bikers biking across the Bronx. Mm-hmm. I ain't never do that one because I ain't had no police escort. I'm not getting killed. Up. <laughs> we did the police escort with the kids. So mind you, I got 30 fucking kids from the hood. Well, mountain bikes. So you know what these niggas is doing, right? <laughs> a whole bunch of fucking willying. Like we telling you, don't willy. 
I'm telling, I'm trying to tell my boss, like, you gave these niggas from the Bronx a bike, and you're gonna fucking tell them not <laughs> to, to fucking Willie. That's when Jackass like, was big, so you had yo, people it, doing endos and Willies and bro, all of that. It, yo, let me tell y'all niggas something, man. It's you ever seen the running of the bulls? <laughs> That's what the tour of, that's that's what the tour of Bronx looks it really like. was though. Yo, the first fifteen minutes, everybody's trying to speed. Like, it's not a race. They they tell y'all to get that. And <laughs> it what went from a race to road rage. Well, yo, road rash real quick, bro. Because when you people fall kicking on a people bike, off bikes and all of that, like, bro. Oh my god, I think I made this lady die. I think this lady definitely died that day. And I think Max, she was there. I think she definitely um did an endo. I had cut her <laughs> off. And she did this endo, and everybody seen her bike fly up, and her body hit the floor, <laughs> and niggas looked back, and I just kept on chucking, bro. I just couldn't even. <laughs> 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 Nigga, help nobody up. No, nah, talk yo, about... when people fell, and when people fell in the Tour de Bronx, you would hear it, like everybody in the crowd would be like, "Oh, <laughs> you're <all> right." <laughs> it was like a pay per view match. You were sitting there. And you was watching a wrestling match and somebody got hit with a Chris Benoit chop. That's what it sounded like. It's like, oh. Yo, listen, it was fucking insane. Yeah, I ever seen somebody get body slammed? Like, up and personal? Up and personal. On, on concrete? Yeah, we yep. they wrestled. We wrestled, so we got... No, that shit was ridiculous. Like a real fight? Like, like body slam? Or like, just like a... It was like... Wait, you talking about Shooter and um? <laughs> yeah. How niggas know the story, God. right? Yo, uh -oh. yo how we was trying... <laughs> How we was that? Listen, I don't even know how it, it happened so fast. Yo, nigga said, Yo, you we want to see something too? Boom. I was like, what the fuck just happened? We walking up. The, we just came from the store. We trying to go to the beach. It's like almost 12 midnight. Mm. So we trying to go to the beach. And we come from the corner store. So it's a, it's mad of us. So we walking up the block. <laughs> and me and Chubb is like way back in the back. <laughs> So all of a sudden, it was two of our homeboys. They were arguing or bickering, whatever, the, whatever the case would be. And next thing you know, somebody got body slammed. So we talking, we giggling and shit, and we hear them bickering, and we're like, whatever. We all boys, we all whatever. We cool. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, on the corner, he straight up just body slammed him, like picked him up in the air, and body slammed him. Wow. We had something like that occur, also where. The dude that got slammed, he was, he was, he was, he was special. He wasn't all upstairs. I'll, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. He wasn't all upstairs. And um, <clears throat> the dude that actually caught the body, um, what the hell was his name? Kimi. Kimi grabbed him, hoisted him up, and was just like, boom. But what's crazy is our boy Shooter, he was, he was from the army. Oh, so oh. that body slam is a real body slam. Yeah, you know it's, mean, a like, it's a real takedown. It's a real takedown. Bro, they gave him the basic training body slam. He body yeah, slammed he, the he, shit he, out he of him. He body slammed in that one. That was it. Was like he. You all you saw was his feet dangling in the air, and then he came <laughs> hitting. <the top. laughs> Bro, but the funny shit is, dangling is shooter walked off, and we still went to the beach. Like wow, boy got up. After getting body slammed, walked that shit off, like <laughs> limping and all, and we still made it to the beach, though. <laughs> like, that's that's funny as hell. That was ridiculous. I think we talked about the body slam the entire ride. Like, wow. we couldn't stop talking about a body slam. We were like, what the fuck happened? It was like, his body was as high as a stop sign. <laughs> that, yo, that shit was crazy. Oh, now, don't you, don't you wish in moments like that where... You wish you had the camera ready to fucking go so you could catch it. Yo, as and it's I was going the down. one that was always recording everything and, and the, taking pictures. I wish it was I had crazy. What's crazy is me and Felt, we that was around the time we started doing the, the the recording, no life recording. So I would walk around with a cassette recorder. And that particular instance where Pudgy and his sister fell off the bike. I did not have my recorder because if we had that recorder, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> now nah, we call we call Melita getting hit with the football. Yeah, we did. I oh, think that was by good. far the coolest thing I caught on video and on audio is someone getting hit with a football, and you can hear 
the wind breaking <laughs> and the fucking audio the, as the football is coming close. And, and Dolby Digital Sound, that's the crazy thing. Yeah, that was the crazy part, though. That shit was how fucking It was like, <laughs> Yeah, that's all you hear in the fucking video. Yeah, and then it's... Sh- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shit we go through, like... Oh, yo, there was a time that the homies in Brooklyn thought I got shot in the backyard. Oh, my God. Oh. Yo, let me... Yo. <laughs> Yo, so we, I'm in Southern Gardens, right? I'm in the backyard. This is one of the chaos days. The gate was wide open today. I'm driving a 1990 Chevy Avalon. I paid $300 for this shit. Mm. Yo, the the fucking muffler drops in the middle of the fucking Jackie Robinson. Dead ass. The muffler drops. So this shit sounds (laughs) out of fucking control at this. Like, niggas (laughs) just passed me by, like, what the fuck is he driving? Sparks and everything. Shit just. Popping shit. When you take the yo, it's mad loud when you take things off of the cars. (laughs) It's crazy, bro. It's mad loud. It's obnoxious at a point. I get back to the hood. I'm trying to fucking wire tie this shit back together so I can go to fucking Jose and get this shit welded. As I'm underneath the car, because I'm underneath the car, but I got my legs out. So apparently there's a nigga in the scooter (laughs) performing a drive by, right? In the neighborhood. I think he's shooting in the air, whatever the case is. He was, he was. He was shooting in the air and my and down the block. It and, was right in front of my building. Yeah, and I niggas, was came, right there. niggas came outside. Niggas saw my feet dangling right, and I, underneath I, I, the car. Yo, listen, but I, I mind you, I'm fixing the um exhaust and I'm hearing the whole sh- shot and everything. Yeah, and I see my homie peek over. This nigga, they Chris, he's peeking over, but he's peeking over as if I'm dead. Yo, like he's he's like doing this one of these shits, like. Like he tried to look. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, this nigga think I'm dead. Like, this nigga think... <laughs> yo, that's so, when you play it off. You start, yo, you start kicking me, your legs a little bit. The, like the funny shit is hearing him tell the story to felt, right? So he's like, yo, I heard the shots. I look out the window <laughs> and I see your feet. He yeah. said, yo, I ran down so quick, but I was so scared to come close because I know what happened. So I was peeking, like I was. He said I was tippy toeing, bro, because I didn't know what I was gonna see, bro. Thank you, show. And That's a fact. Said, all he seen was, you know, somebody coming up towards him. So he's looking out the other side of the car, and he's like, "Yo, why this nigga's tiptoeing like this?" But he's watching him peek, and he said he seen felt it move, and his heart just like, "Oh shit, good, ain't nothing happening." Yeah, bro. Yo, we, I think we so both scared. acknowledged that shit. Me and Chris acknowledged at the same time. He was so he... scared. He's like, "Yo, I really thought you got clipped, bro. I didn't know what I was gonna see." He's like, I was so scared, but I seen your feet out the window on the floor. <laughs> Max and Max, it was funny as fuck, bro. It was, it was, it was one of those scenes like you wouldn't think it would not be. Like I'm underneath yeah. the car, like my feet are just really just I'm he chilling. Said, he said he just always spread out, feet. yeah. Just he spread from his, cause he, he was, he was, felt, he was, felt was playing possum during the whole thing. He was across the street in his yeah. boys' crib, and Felton was. He was in the parking lot, so it's a long that. way. You can see it. But all you, he, all he said, all he seen, because my pop's car was, um, he had a big ass Jeep. His yeah. his car was pretty big, so he said all he seen was his feet. But he knew it was Felton, because he's like, yo, I know them kicks. I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that's felt on the floor. And he said he ran downstairs so quick, but he was so scared, because he... You don't want to run up to somebody like that. Wait Damn. a minute, wait a minute. You said, who was it? Um, Twizzler. Oh, first of all, how was he running? He was, I can't. He, talk. he, he was, was, was I'm, he I'm was, done. What? Yo, mute her ass right now. He fucking was, uh, asshole. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't. He was skipping. I'm fucking I'm sorry. Can't. He skipped. I, he skipped there. That's Yo, because niggas, niggas threw a whole left jab at that shit. <laughs> I hate y'all. I really do. I can't. Asshole. You're an asshole for that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I know that nigga got lip. Yo, you going to hell for that. Yo, going... Yeah, that's it. That's it, Joe. You already know. <laughs> I get it. It's a joke, though. Too fucking funny, y'all. That's oh funny because we did ask call him Twizzler because he walked because with Because he walked with his legs. Like... Nigga said, nah, how do you, how and, you he's, and he's pigeon toed. Yeah. Oh, so wow. he walked like crossing <laughs> his legs. So yeah. he looked like So y'all like motherfucker called the Twiz. Y'all motherfucker <laughs> going to hell. Y'all going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> y'all going straight. Fire yeah. fury! If I don't see y'all down there, I'm calling y'all out. I'm like, what about that Chub Twizzard joke? She should be down here too. <laughs> he throwing gang signs. Yeah, he I'm throwing gang signs with his legs. I'm going to hell because of a lot of jokes. I'm going to hell for a lot of jokes. 
<laughs> I can't. Yeah. I can't. That it's was terrible. 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 We, had a lot of, we had a lot of nicknames. A little what fucked up it? nicknames, man. We had a lot of fucking crazy ass fucking moments, though. Like, defining moments. Yo, I Yo. think me and Chubb just had a lot of drunk moments. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. We had a <laughs> lot of fucking drunk moments. I had a lot of drunk moments. Yo, there was times that we would get so fucked up. And Chubb would be actually really fucked up. I would drop her off in my crib and go back out. I've done that before in a minute. Because she would leave me with her dad. Head. And I'm there talking shit with her dad. Like, just chilling. I'm out. Drunk I as fuck. You too drunk for me. Nigga said you need <laughs> to I'm going to go, go finish this up. off us. <laughs> I'm going to go finish this night off us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should leave her right in my crib. I be Yeah, I would go to the corner store, huh? go, go to the corner store, buy her a cheeseburger, something to drink, and some Pringles. And I'd be like, yo, you good. Yo, that was like I some Pringles to sober up. Yeah. You be all right. Cheeseburger and some Pringles. Tell. And a mystic fucking blueberry. What is that shit? Blueberry fucking yo, grape. Yo, son. That was, yo, Jesus. That just brought me back to 2008. Damn. <laughs> mystics? Yeah, the mystics. The blue. Yo, I remember, I remember the little sobe drinks. I used to get the strawberry oh. daiquiri heavy. <laughs> Listen. I used to get that shit. Yeah, Yo, you remember when Four Locals came out? Yeah, I was Son, You college. remember when we decided that we was going to mix all of them in a in a two-liter Pepsi bottle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah died? Yo. How many yeah. times did, <laughs> you know, did y'all die? You That's fucking lit. Yeah, I think it's that. How many, how many times you died, Chuck? Yo, we did funnels with that shit. <laughs> what? We did funnels Yo. with fucking Four Locals. Yo, we lost Flacco. <laughs> 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 we what? lost Flacco. <laughs> Yo, we was in the hallway in my home. <laughs> <laughs> we was in the hallway across the street, and we had we had a funnel, and we mm. was doing funnels with fucking four logos, and mm. dead ass my homeboy disappeared. We ain't know where he went. <laughs> we were dumb ass kids. kids. We was really he dumb. ended up on a milk yo, carton. We don't know where the fuck he went. We were like, yo, he's lost. Like we was calling him. I went to his crib. Everything. We didn't know where the fuck he was. But yeah. he was one definitely time, remember one time when we lost him and he was in the middle of a um in the middle of two cars on the car, on the on the sidewalk, Bro. sitting on the curb, dead. Yo, we went to some party. <laughs> we went to some party and some some sh I don't even know where the fuck we was at. It was a basement party in the hood. Oh. Like no, I'm it wasn't about, even like, in the hood. It was by like Barclays, where Barclays is at now. But what I'm saying is there was stories there. There was a couple flights. Yeah. It was in the hood because I remember the washing machine room. Yeah. They had a washing machine room. And we was like, yo, we're I don't even know whose party that was. Me I don't either. know how we got there, but we was there. I just know what, what was that his was name. What was, home. what was his name? What was his name? The Dominican one. What was his name? I think I Flock, this nigga was in between two cars laid out on the floor. Mm -mm. And we came outside. We're like, yo, we can't find them. We walking nah. up the block, we and we it. see him between two cars, laying like laid out. He, he was, yeah, out. He was his legs asleep. off the curb in the side in the street, and his body on the on the sidewalk. He yeah. wanted to take a nap. He That's sure enough all. did take a nap because I don't know. How, took a nap. I don't. I don't know how long he was missing. <laughs> I don't know how long he was missing for. <laughs> so <laughs> somebody put a, somebody put out an APB on that man, please. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yo, we just have a lot of drunk moments. Yeah, we had uh, a lot, a lot of drunk. You remember? You remember? Um, you remember my 16th birthday, where um, Flo had a party and he just wound up calling us up, and I wound up seeing this. I don't even know what car it was. Some blue nice ass car. We was walking back home, and I was like, "Yo, I want that car," and I stood on somebody's car. Do you remember that? Yeah, I kind of remember that. It was that the the one that we walked to somebody's random ass right. party. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, and then we didn't even know nobody there, and then we just started dancing with everybody. Yeah, yeah. We ain't know nobody. We would turn up in random people's house parties, like oh, random people. Too, I'm though. talking about like they family parties, like it's their whole family, and we right. there like, hey cousin, hey grandpa, and we dancing that, with everybody. That, that, <laughs> I can't wow. Yeah, because our boy was a DJ, so hmm. he would just be like, yo, I'm at this spot, whatever. I'm at oh, this yeah, party. We so we were like, all right, cool. So and it's a now, whole family event. The DJ invites 15 people that you do not know mm. and they just turn up your whole party something wow she don't feel good or something? Nah, she don't. Nah, but people wouldn't want us to leave afterwards they would be like here right. here the beers come drink yo <laughs> chub we yo, was chub, chub that i scared herself in the mirror 
<laughs> Yo, I yeah, was and so then turned drunk. around. And I then was so drunk. I was telling Jalissa, I'm hungry. I'm so drunk, waiting to go to the bathroom. And I'm talking to her. And then I turned around and there was a mirror and I, yo, I legit scared the shit out of myself. I was like, oh, but the so funny much. shit is she scared herself and then started talking to herself and somebody walked by with a platter and she was like, oh, food and ran <laughs> towards the <laughs> plate. Yo, man. But ladies and gentlemen, man, this is, this is, stories are important, man. Stories, stories, man. They, they. They they paved the way, they they bridged the gap between who you were back when it happened and who you are now, you know, and the perspective can change real quick. Like I get it now. I get why this happened or whatever. So appreciate your stories, man. The funny ones, the sad ones, you know, just appreciate all of it because you're still here. To- <sighs> Tell and share that story. Yo, Chubb, so, this um, this is for you, by the way. Orange is the new black, right? Orange is the new black. <laughs> I'm in my, now, I'm in my now, orange jumpsuit. Now she gotta, she gotta come up with a character name for Orange is the new black. As a matter of fact, she can stay Chubb. She can stay Chubb. She'll be all right. <laughs> She'll be all right. All right. But uh, <laughs> yo, it's been a pleasure, man. Appreciate everybody coming out, having a good time, chopping it up. We'll be back again in two weeks. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but y'all find out soon enough what the next topic is going to be. We're going to... Matter of fact, no. It's random ass jamboree. It is. Random ass jamboree. I was about to say, what happens to that? That's it. Oh, we, oh, it's coming back. It's coming straight to the Zoom. We ain't doing Instagram for that one. We're going to get canceled. Yep. Sure so is. It's going to be right here on the zoom setting the standard setting the bar crazy high but man this was this was the block hope everybody enjoyed it like comment subscribe if you're feeling the vibe share the content all that good shit ring the bell like it's a disqualification in a wrestling match or ring the bell like you're getting knocked out with a tyson punch in the 11th round i mean whatever works for you good night good night <laughs> but yeah good night peace out y'all Say good night.